with a tagline like, win by getting ahead, Guillotine makes it clear that it doesn't take itself too seriously from the get-go, playing off of dark humor to create a silly and simple experience. While $15 retail, Guillotine can be found online for around $10 as of writing. In the box you'll find 50 noble cards, 60 action cards, and a rulebook. Depending on the version you get, there may also be a cardboard guillotine included, but this isn't necessary, more set dressing than anything else. All the cards are well made and have nice white borders, preserving them for future plays. The art has a certain cartoony charm that shows off its age positively, playing off of the more humorous take on the theme. The box was skinny but still fairly empty, which is why I transferred the game to a deck box. In Guillotine, players are trying to collect the most nobles, each of which provide a certain number of victory points depending on their nobility and potentially other special effects. Whoever is the most points after three rounds wins. At the start of a round, 12 nobles are lined up in front of the guillotine, showing off the order of the cards that round. Each turn is comprised of three phases, actions, drawing a noble, and drawing an action card. Players may optionally play an action card out of their hand, altering the order of cards, screwing over your friends, or adding new nobles to the lineup. Then, they are required to take the noble from the front of the line, placing it in front of themselves for points. Lastly, they must draw the top card of the action deck, regardless of whether they used an action card this turn. This continues until all the nobles in the lineup have been claimed. Round 2 and 3 play out the same way with everyone retaining their action cards and nobles between rounds. After the third round is over, players count up their points, and whoever is the most wins. Most games will last between 15 and 25 minutes. Guillotine is a filler game through and through, and it embraces this by making the turns quick and easy with a pacing that keeps the game moving and a tone that's just as breezy. The nobles are silly and fun, from Marie Antoinette to the hero of the people, adding some charm to what otherwise would just be points cards. The actions similarly have some fun illustrations associated with them, making the game a joy to look at. All that being said, this is definitely a Munchkin-esque game. How well you do depends on what actions you draw, what order the nobles start in, and how your opponents mess with you. This is certainly a take that heavy game as well, with many of the actions forcing others to discard cards or lose nobles. And honestly, I wouldn't expect anything more from this. The concept lends itself to such simple and thoughtless gameplay, and it's by no means bad, but it caters to a more casual audience for sure. It's good, nice, fast, simple. As somebody who enjoys simple, quick games, I think it's probably one of the better ones I've played. It's very simple-minded, however, you can be affected by luck of the draw as far as action cards or nobles go. So if you're not into luck of the draw games, it might not be luck you. In terms of cost, $15 is a little much for a deck of cards, one that could easily have fit in a card box. It's by no means absurd, but I feel like you don't get much at the end of the day. Guillotine is a cute little filler game for those who are looking for a more relaxed, casual experience. It's in no way strategic, but it also isn't limited in its audience like Cards Against Humanity or Epic Spell Wars are, making a great addition to the collections of families and newcomers to the hobby. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw here, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and be sure to check us out on Facebook and GamesOnTape.com.